What's up everybody? Welcome back to Palmetto Cat's YouTube channel. I'm your host Kevin and today guys, I've never seen anything like this. We have a mini 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This thing is super small and we're going to unbox it and go through all the specs. Okay. Right away we have a user manual. We'll look over all of that later and a business card with their website on it qr code and on the front it has all the contact information so we'll be sure to look over all this later uh, let's see we got a big piece of foam in the top Ooh, it's a thick boy all right wow big thick piece of foam in the top good protection and then the battery it's in another piece of foam in the bottom there here are the bolts you can do it the easy way because this it's a uh, packed in there tight guys there we go put the battery out twelve volt one hundred amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery but a mini version guys this thing is pretty small got a little strap on the top your terminal protectors in there all right good looking battery there take these out the top here uh, they send you four bolts pretty standard from what we've seen in the past if you've seen any other unboxing videos i've done you have your terminal protectors there now let's see if all these are the same length. Nope, you have one that's a little bit longer than the other. So if you have more to hook up, you want to use your longer terminal bolts. Of course, with most of these batteries, the terminal bolts, you can use a Phillips head screwdriver or a wrench to get them in and out. I like using the screwdriver myself. And then you put your terminal protectors on the top there. Let's talk about it more. As you guys know, Watt Cycle is a brand new sponsor of the Palmetto Cats YouTube channel. Um, but I am going to be as fair as I can about this battery, even though they sent it to me for free. It is their mini 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Okay, now I'm going to check the voltage of the battery to make sure it's operating within the specs of the battery. We should see uh, probably a little over 13 to be normal. It is normal for a battery that is 12 volts to read 13 up to 13.5, 13.6, but we would rather have it around 13.1. Um, if it were charging, you'd see it probably go up to 14 or 15 sometimes, but um, it's perfectly normal for it to be over the 12, but we're gonna test it to make sure it's within that range at 12 to 13 point, I'd say one or two range is where I wanna see it. So here we go. And red to the red lead. 13.06 so that probably just means this battery is is uh dead 13.06 <laughs> probably has zero juice in it but still reading where we want it to read so that's good news all right guys the next thing we're going to do is see how much this battery weighs in comparison to a group 24 battery and a group 31 battery which is your regular size and then we'll take measurements but first let's get these batteries on the scale okay first up we have our new battery here 22 pounds even all right okay the next battery we're going to test is a group 24 battery it's not the same brand but it should give us the same comparison 22 pounds okay we have another brand here but this is a group 31 package this is your normal sized battery here 28.8 pounds okay so now we're going to go over the physical dimensions of each of these batteries we'll start with the biggest one we'll start with the Group 31 battery here. Okay, let's see here. It is 12. Oh, come on eyes, don't fail me now. 12 and three quarter inches across the uh, width of the battery. 
the height of the battery is 8.5 inches and the depth of the battery is 6.5 so again 12 and 3 quarters uh, 8.5 and 6.5 can you guys remember that for me we're gonna go to the group 24 battery and measure that one put these little handles down all right 10 inches wide 10 inches wide the depth is 6.5 so the same depth as the group 31 i just noticed that okay and then the height how tall are we looking here eight and a quarter eight and a quarter and this one was eight and a half let's go mini let's go all right <laughs> let's stop playing around good business eight and a half inches guys that's that's over two inches shorter eight and a, let me do that again eight and a half look look at this eight and a half inches look at that y'all that battery is as long as the group 31 is high wow sorry probably shouldn't be turning it like that but i think you can another plus okay let's continue on let's continue on let's get the width here Woo, five and not even a quarter a little less than five and a quarter inches deep and i think it's gonna be the same on the top you kind of got two two measurements here yeah five and a half so five and a quarter five and a half and eight and a half holy moly it's supposed to pack the same power guys can you imagine i mean if you're just dealing in the group 31 batteries you're just trying to replace lead acid batteries in your boat or in your rv and you have these minis that power supposed to be uh able to power the same stuff these big batteries are and you can put three or four of them in there you live in large think about think about though if you're using them for off-grid stuff and they're so inexpensive right now they're so inexpensive. we'll get to the price in a minute well guys straight out the box it has juice in it this is a 1000 watt dewalt power inverter and as you can see i have it hooked up here so as you can see i just have the cables running into the back of the inverter to power it um i have a 30 watt light here plugged in and boom we have power so they do ship it with some juice it's not a smart battery so i don't know how much juice is actually in it but uh it does come with some juice there and this is kind of what i would use to power it as lights out on the boat when i'm camping or uh lights anywhere when i'm camping charging gopro batteries charging phones uh charging whatever running things who might even bring a microwave out who knows so i'm trying to run this battery through its pacings and i made a crucial error when i bought my inverter i only bought a thousand watt inverter uh because that's what was recommended for this battery however i don't need something that's recommended i need something where i can test the limits of this battery as you can see i have a heater here and as long as the heater is on low well that's the light if i plug in my heater here and i keep the heater on low i can run this heater on low and not uh, overpower the inverter right now we're operating at around 600 watts 633 watts and the battery is almost dead because i've been testing it out pretty good but here's a great example of what i would use it for out on a camping trip heater obviously on low plug in the phone here phone's charging Look at my beautiful wife. Aww. Phone's charging. 
GoPro batteries. I got three of them suckers in there. Three GoPro batteries. We're going to plug those up. Bam. Still going good. And here's my light, my 30 watt light. Bam. Light's still on. Hi. Here it goes. So the inverter shuts down, shuts down everything. Everything shuts off to the uh, plugs here. These things are still going. Yeah, these things still go. The inverter can't handle the maximum power of the fan or of the heater. But all I gotta do is reset it. Everything's back on. But more, more than likely, I'll just need a fan. And so let's plug this fan in here. I'll take this out of my wife's bathroom. I'm gonna tell her. Plug that fan in there. Ah. There we go, guys. Nice breezy fan. Charging my phone. Charging my GoPro batteries. Got the light on for a night light. What else would I need? Coffee maker in the morning? You can plug in the coffee maker. All right, guys, there's a lot of information here about the battery management system. It's all in this booklet here. I'm just gonna hold it up and you can pause. You can pause it if you want to look at these closer. Here are the battery parameters. Just like any other battery, you can take these minis and you can wire them in parallel or in series. Whether you need more power or you need more voltage, you can do it with these batteries just like any other batteries. I also love that this battery comes with this nylon strap here because unlike the ones with the handles, you can take these straps off very easily. If you wanted to put them down, you didn't want this here because it might be flammable or you just want it out the way you can take it off awesome got the battery on charge so we can use it next time we go camping i've put a link in the description where you can get these batteries for 179 dollars i don't know how these batteries keep getting cheaper but if you'll remember not long ago these batteries were averaging 900 dollars to a thousand dollars now something this small this tight a package with this uh greater technology and the quality that you get for $179, you can't do any better. Well, you can do better because there's also a 6% discount code if you use the code Palmetto. That's right, put Palmetto at checkout and you'll save another 6% on your battery. As you know, I've already been using their Trollo Motor batteries, their Group 24 batteries, and they have not done me wrong. The only thing I wish this battery was, uh, was a smart battery. They do have those, but they're a little bit more expensive. But if you want this battery, 179, 179, link in the description, use Palmetto to save 6%. Guys, I hope you like this video. Hit that thumbs up, hit that share button. Go visit the links in the description. We've got a lot of great content down there, a lot of great information, not only on batteries but everything else that i do thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe until next time happy fishing